Let's respond to the ministry of God's word by bringing before the Lord our morning tithes and offerings. Praise to God for all of his many blessings to us. The 
righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his mouth talketh of judgment. The law of his God is in his heart, none of his steps shall slide. The wicked watch his righteousness, and he is slain. The Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord, and he is heaven, and he shall exalt thee to a terrible land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. I have seen the wicked in great power, and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away, and yet lo, he was not. Yet I saw him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright. For the end of that man is peace. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together, and the end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. And he shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Let's respond to God's word by confessing to Him our sins. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for Jesus, of whom the psalmist spoke, this one who is righteous and perfect, who has fully obeyed all your commandments, who is blessed and prospers in all his ways. We praise and we thank you that he is exalted in the heavens above, and his labors on earth are fruitful. We thank you for his great gathering of his church. We thank you for the work of his spirit in transforming us and making us new in him. And we thank you for the way that your spirit helps us to walk before you. We acknowledge our sins and that we have not lived perfectly as we ought. We acknowledge that we've fallen far short of your righteousness and your perfection. And so we pray that you would forgive us for our many sins. Forgive us for our weak and, and uh, vain thoughts. Forgive us, Lord, for where we are focused on this life and all it offers, and we fail to think about you and your ways. Uh, forgive us for our lack of faith, for our doubts, for our questions. Uh, we pray that you forgive us for our sins against you and against one another. We pray, Lord, that you would forgive us for where we have failed to love, to care, to encourage, to help. Lord, we just pray that your Spirit would forgive us for all of our sins. And cleanse us through Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. The Lord promises his people forgiveness in these words. This is from the prophet Jeremiah, it's chapter 33. I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. I will bring Judah and Israel back from captivity and will rebuild them as they were before. I will cleanse them from all the sin they have committed against me and will forgive all their sins of rebellion against me. Then the city will bring me renown, joy, praise, and honor before all nations on earth that hear of all the good things I do for it. And they will be in awe and will tremble at the abundant prosperity and peace I provide for it. We are the ones of whom Jeremiah spoke. We are those who are forgiven of the Lord and experience the great blessings that we have in Christ, even the joy of the Lord. Let's turn to the Lord in prayer and seek his help for our needs. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that we can turn to the light, the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the one who illumines our darkness. And in those days where we are weak and despairing, where all seems to be gloomy and dark, we thank you that we have one to whom we can turn, who will show us the way, who will guide us when we are confused, who will uh, illumine uh, the way in which we should walk and guide us along in your ways. We thank you for his work in our lives, and we pray that your spirit would continue to shine within our hearts through the pages of scripture, that we might see your word proclaimed, and that we might follow after you. We pray, O oh Lord, that your a light would shine in us, that we would be a light to the world today, that we would illumine the darkness around us. Jesus told his disciples that they were the light of the world. And we pray that as we are lights to our generation, that your hand of blessing would be on us 
Help us to shine brightly and truly, uh, pointing to Jesus and his greater glory. We thank you for our church. We thank you for your blessings upon us. We thank you for the many gifts that we have in Christ. We thank you, O oh Lord, for life, for health, for our family and friends, for our homes, our jobs. We thank you for the many ways in which you show us your love, your patience, your forgiveness, uh, your steadfastness. Lord, we pray that uh, you would strengthen us for the coming year. We pray that you would sustain us in health, uh, provide for our homes and families. We pray that you protect us from harm and from evil. Bless our country. Provide us with rulers and leaders who will honor your word, protecting the Sabbath day and preserving your church and its witness in the world today. We pray for your blessing on those who serve in distant lands. We pray that you would sustain them in their work and encourage them. We thank you, Lord, for their witness. We pray for uh, your blessing on them. Be with us as we uh, continue to worship and serve you this day. And we ask that you would teach us to pray, even as our Lord taught his disciples to pray, saying, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Final hymn this morning, number 154, As with Gladness Metaphor. Number 154, stand the same. <laughs> Thank you. 